Could you describe in a nutshell the last 30 years with Brother Ricky? Yes, oh, that's very easy. Wow. <laughs> he has meant the world to me. I, I have known your daddy since he was 21 years old, I guess. He used to go to Carlisle County and all around and have youth revivals, and I had granddaughters that went to those youth revivals and also camped over at Lakeside, and he'd come over there on Sunday mornings at 7 o'clock and preach, and I'd be there every Sunday morning listening to him. So I've known Brother Ricky for a long, long time, and I thank the world of him and his family, and I love y'all very much. Oh, my. Well, um, I like to say I'm pretty spoiled because I haven't known any other pastor, and he's been there from my whole raising. He married me. Um, Introduced, actually, you introduced the one of my children, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, we stole that from <laughs> stole your dad. One. We stole one. Stole yes. one. Um, so, gosh, I just don't even know what it's like to not have him. Yeah, that's awesome. So you mm-hmm. feel very blessed. Yes. Oh man, he's been everything to me. Um, first of all, I mean, we became close friends in 2001, and um, and through that relationship and and seeing who he is and the way he cared for me, loved me, nurtured me. Uh, I came to know the Lord. So so that was spectacular. He means everything to me. He is wonderful for this church. And what he has meant through the years for everybody is just spectacular. Um, he's a true leader. He's been blessed. Obviously, we know that uh, the Lord's blessed him. And, uh, and we're just glad that he shared him with us. Oh. How many mints do you think over the years you've given, Brother Ricky? Not many. I bring him Snickers. Ooh, so he gets he, a special bag. He gets a special bag. I deliver it to his little office every morning. Man. You know, there, there's all these little tricks you learn, like little Sprites and little Snickers. and so, so what makes you want to go above and beyond and show Brother Ricky that you love him? That's how I show him that I think about him every day during the week and pray for him, and I bring him Snickers. Well, of course, uh, Ricky and I went to high school together, and, uh, you know, Ricky's kind of always the one that kind of kept us straight. Some of us would uh, kind of get diverted from time to time, but uh, just a great friend, a great person that we all love and care for, and, been a lot to my family over the past few years moving back here. Oh, it's been great. I've I've known him since I was a kid. We played baseball together in uh, Little League at Harden. And uh, his friendship has meant a lot to me because he has helped me grow in Christ and he has uh, just helped me through some hard times in my life where I had questions and he's counseled me. And uh, I just can't say enough for him. He's he's my pastor, my friend. So. Brother Ricky has been an amazing inspiration in my life. Personally, um, we came here 16 years ago. Hannah was one, and I have just um, seen our family grow in such amazing ways. Um, Growing as a family, uh, teaching me how to raise my children. Um, Some of the leadership he's given me personally in in life, Um, working with him through helping his kids and seeing how he loves to help others in the community and he has such a passion for the community and has taught me personally that it's not just about those people who sit in this pew on Sunday morning but to walk the life every day of your life whether it's Saturday, Saturday night um, as well as Sunday morning. Be the same person you are everywhere. What has Brother Ricky meant to you? He's busy, really busy. There's so many. Brother Ricky is so joyful and so happy to do things. It's, uh, I guess, probably the biggest thing that I got a kick out of when we used to go and play golf. We'd have our golf things, Sunday school classes. He'd always want to win. And somehow he always wound up with the best team. He aced team. He had the ace team, so he wound up winning the team. So... You know, his competitiveness is just out of the world. That's, awesome. That's on everything, sports oh, yeah. and everything. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't have to tell you. That's right. <laughs> See, you students, you know where I get it from now, yeah. right? Um, at uh, VBS when he got slime. Uh, got, got a haircut. He got in a, he had a kiss a pig. Because, because, we because, because we raised a bunch of money for Nicaragua because I didn't have any clothes or anything like that. So would you say Brother Ricky loves missions? Yes. yes. When, when we first started coming to Hardin, we came from, um, we came from a church with a very different theology, uh, one that was very traditional and, and uh, you know, no band. 
and we came one Sunday night, and they were doing the family feud, and Brother Ricky had on a 1970s vintage baby blue tuxedo with ruffles, and he was the, the commentator. And we looked at each other, and we thought, this is really different. We still feel awkwardly comfortable. I don't know what that says about us, but, uh, and that was it. We were hooked. A funny word that describes Brother Ricky. Um, old. He is old. I think mine was in high school. He did another home series like this. And I never heard the home presented the way that it was um, by him, biblically. And so I'm really enjoying that he's doing it again as well. Uh, I think I enjoyed the Romans series. We went, we spent what two years going, going, going through Romans. Through, yeah, yeah. yeah um, that was my favorite. Just getting deep in the Word and just uh, hitting a lot of issues that I'm kind of afraid to talk about sometimes. But it's good stuff. Um, I was just telling someone the other day last Easter. I feel like he had a sermon prepared, and he didn't preach it. He was led by the Spirit, and he just preached the gospel. And for me, um, it just spoke to be led by the Spirit first before your own plans. So thanks, Brother Ricky. <laughs> Wednesdays are my favorite. So probably definitely that, like the Revelation series that we went through and now setting like doctrines of the Word and the roles of the Holy Spirit and the Father, like all that has been really impactful for me, for sure. <laughs> Wednesday nights are my favorite. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I really like the growing in, up and out sermon. It was really cool, you know, with the corn and the farming. I don't know, I just feel like I could really relate with my beaver down roots. One thing I've learned from Brother Ricky, uh, I've learned what love, agapao, and agape is. Well, I really think it's affected how you've taught us about finding a woman and what to look for in a woman. So. Just basically through you, through him, it's taught me about what to look for and how to search for a wife. Uh, just, his, the, just the teaching uh, about who we are in Christ and uh, trying to do more songs that, that talk about Christ as opposed to just sing about Christ, you know, that talk about the, who Christ is. Yeah. Man, thoughts. Uh, make sure his mic is muted before we start worshiping. <laughs> if Brother Ricky doesn't have one spiritual gift, what do you think that would be? Singing. I think we nailed it. What is Brother Ricky's favorite word? Wow! What would that be? Wow! 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 wow. What is his favorite color tractor? You know, I know when I first came here, my, my theology and what I was raising was totally different than where it is now. And over, he, he poured into me probably three years every Wednesday for, for two hours each day, just going over scripture and going over things. And then, then a lot of times, um, when we would study, I'd, I'd have it here, then after the week, I would lose it, you know, so we'd go back over and back over and back over it, and, and finally, over a period of about three years, it's really changed my life, so, uh, you know, I owe him, gosh, I owe him so many things, you know, and it's, uh, you know, for me, it's very emotional, because it changed my life, it changed my life, and to think that I would even be teaching a class then is really scary, you know, so, um, but it's really made a big difference in my life, so. That's awesome. Oh, absolutely. We're quoting him this morning. So we're, we're, we quote him all the time. He has been, actually, he, he's been the, the most profound, had the most profound effect on my teaching of anybody. So uh, most things I've learned, I've learned from Brother Ricky. Oh, Brother Ricky's teaching has really revolutionized my, uh, my teaching. I mean, you know, he, he, he brings a, a certain standard. Mm -hmm. You know, not that we're trying to to teach like Brother Ricky, but his theology and his teaching and his truth of the Bible has really changed my thinking mm -hmm. and, and has really helped me to, he's inspired me to be a better teacher, to be a, 
a, a more teacher of the Word and knowing what the Word is, is, is teaching and what the Word is saying. What has Sis Salisa meant to you over these last 30 years? I hope we're not recording this, but she is a fantastic, wonderful lady, and I wish I could be more like her. Mm -hmm. Well, she's been such an inspiration to me, even though she's younger than I am. I consider her a good Christian sister and friend, and uh, she's just such a blessing because I'm t always telling people that Salisa is one of the most dedicated Christian women I've ever known and such a support to Brother Ricky. That's what impresses me so much because her desire is to see Brother Ricky uh, accomplish the things that he needs to do for the Lord and she's such an inspiration to young women and such a mentor to young women and I appreciate her so much and love her so much. And how much he cares about all the people that go to this church and how he's willing to go above and beyond anytime somebody's in need. Probably the most uh, angelic, uh, intelligent warrior that you could possibly have for Christ. Oh, very committed. I think if you go to this church at all, you'll see, um, if not every Sunday, at least once every other week, you'll hear him talking about some mission trip our church is doing, he's involved with, or somebody in our body is. I think that's one of the reasons I love Harden so much is that we look to expand the word to all over the world. So I really enjoy um, hearing his, his stories, hearing other people's stories in our church of missions and being part of them myself. You know, you know, to even think about a pastor being at a church that long is really incredible. And when I look around and see just how our church is growing, I think as you, as you talk to people in our class, if you had that opportunity, you would see that just the, the, the spirit in this church is just it's contagious. And um, I just see us growing so rapidly and, and because of his leadership and, and the way he's poured his life into others. So. I think it's uh, amazing. I think God has used him greatly, but I always knew he would because even from a little boy, he always put God first. Mm -hmm.